So I decided to go ahead and make a, t a video tutorial about how I ink my drawings. Um, so here we go. I, I really suck at doing tutorials, so please bear with me. Okay, first off, this is a quick sketch that I did for this video. It's nothing special, just a really quick doodle. Uh, first thing that I tend to do is... Um, I always have like a separate layer, which this is pretty common sense, but I'm going to say it anyway. A separate layer for the inking and for the sketch itself. So that way, if you wanted to do uh, modifications or something, or if you make a mistake, you don't have to start all over. Um, you want the foreground color, whatever color you're inking with. I always use black, but I know other people have different preferences. Now, the way I ink is with the pen tool, which is it's right here. Make sure that you have that selected. Now, I know one way to ink with a pen tool is you know, just tracing along the line and then, uh, you know, fill, well, no wrong one, stroke the pad with the brush, you know, stuff like that. Which is nice and all, but I didn't curve it or anything, but it's not it doesn't have any definition to my liking. So I learned a different way. Instead of just using one line, what I like to do is trace along the outline of the entire section that you want to ink, okay? Then go down to the convert tool, convert point tool, sorry. And you know, you can play with the points, make it fit any way you want. We get this is the time consuming part, which can get annoying, but trust me, the quality of the inking is well worth the wait. And that seems about good. Then you right click and you want to uh, click on fill path and make sure you know the color in the foreground, as you'll see here. So, let's use color foreground, well, whichever is the color that you want to ink, and click OK and you see that it filled in the selection. Now right click delete path to get rid of the selection and you can see it's a pretty nice crisp clear line. And traditionally what I like to do is I always like to make a different layer with each line that I add just in case if I make a mistake I don't erase something that I previously did. So like for an example I'm going to mess up on purpose here. Um, zoom in a bit so you can see. Convert point tool. And tweak this to fit the line that I want. Like that. And fill path. Okay. Now delete path. As you can see, it goes above the line there, and I don't want that. So since it's on a separate layer, I just go to the Erase tool, which is too big, and... Why is this? Oh, it's on pencil mode. There. Okay. Then I can just simply erase that till it gets to the line without having to worry about erasing this line. Then after I get that the way I want it, like so. Whoops. Ouch. Then I just merge these two together by hitting Control E. And see now they become one layer. Then of course I make another layer and continue on with my inking. Now there's other, there's many ways of how you can do this version of inking. This is just my personal way. Um, to each his own. The more you do it, the more you create your own version of doing it. Another thing is, like, uh, right here on the eye. Let's say I didn't want this part to be this thick, because I don't want that much black on the eye. Um, if you hold down control and click this point, you can move it and drag it anywhere you want, so you can adjust the thickness, thinness of the line, so you don't have to worry about if you misset it then fill path. Or you can always add more points if you didn't add enough points by right clicking here and just click the add anchor point tool and click along the line where you want to add it. Now I'm just going to finish the eye here and 
give you guys a quick little color example of what this looks like. I usually just draw the pupils in, I because I edit it later on with details, so I'm not too picky about that. And I'll do a little quick coloring here. Oh yeah, as you can see, and if I erase, well, not erase, but uh, take away the sketching, it's a pretty nice, crisp, clean line. Well, inking. And that's basically just how I do my inking overall. And that's pretty much the gist of it. If you have any questions, or if something is, you know, too confusing, just send me a message or let me know, and... I'll try and help you. Thanks.